Well, she broke the rules she had in heart. This time he will break down. She's lost his trust, and so she must know all is lost. The system has broke down. Romance has broke down. This boy is cracking up. This boy has broken down. This boy is cracking up. This boy. She plays it hard, she plays it tough But that's enough, the love is over She's broke his heart and that is rough But in the end he'll soon recover The romance is over This boy is cracking up This boy is broken down yeah, yeah. This boy is cracking up Spending my money in the old town. It's not the same, honey, with you not around. I've always wanted to keep track of all the formula and the UDFs that I've used in this workbook, uh, and I've been kind of concerned about the UDFs from the previous workbook that I've transferred into this workbook. Uh, so, so I wanted to know which ones I haven't really used and maybe delete that. And also, uh, knowing the usage, it also helps me understand like which ones are my most commonly used or go-to formulas. Um, so it does list the if if error. So that's that's a uh, uh, so. You might say, you know, I don't need to know that. Of course, I'm going to use that. But yeah, I can cut many tags in the work. Yeah, these are things that I've used. So it gives you a, a count, an actual count of how many times these are used in the formulas. So there are three uh, subroutines in this related to this UI dashboards. The first one will list all the functions, including the UDF. So that's in the first table and then enter the count uh, for each of these names and then the second table i wanted to make a separate table uh, for all the udfs or the customized functions that chat gpt has helped me uh, has created for me so so after that you see which ones are the least used the most used uh, functions you can then decide if you might if you would like to just delete that in the modules in the VBA or not or maybe you just said well it's not really that much or maybe you, you know so I only have one module for the UDFs so then I think I only have about 12 um, how many yeah 12 UDFs that I actually use to so maybe just helps in organizing uh, and shortening you know the text in that module uh, the EDF module so it's up to you but I have these three functions that you can run you just have to uh, select from the drop box you see your first one enter one then run enter two uh, I mean select two because it's a drop down so or you could enter it too. Also, so you can select that and then run that. So there's only three steps. And I felt that this is necessary. Uh, you have to keep track of everything. So this is just one of those things that I think is important to keep track. 